This is called Pebble Steel. So it's a brand new watch that we're launching and it's kind of an evolution of the current Pebble. Pebble, is, as you know, is a smartwatch. It talks to iPhone and Android smartphones. It brings notifications like email, caller ID, Facebook, Twitter, all of that to your wrist. And then it opens up your wrist to apps. So uh, we've also launched the Pebble App Store, which enables people to find you know, thousands of apps that are available for Pebble um, and put them onto your wrist. Cool, and this is, um, a surf report from spitcast.com. We also made it smaller in pretty much all dimensions. It's thinner, it's, um, it's tighter. We also improved the buttons, we improved the strap, we improved yeah, pretty much everything about the physical hardware. It's the same core Pebble inside, so it's, it supports Pebble OS 2, it supports the Pebble App Store. So even though it's metal and, and looks a little bit more like a classic, classic watch, it's still water resistant. Metal definitely poses some challenges when it comes to wireless connectivity. Can you tell me about how you maintain the connectivity uh, to your smartphone? The steel uh, ring over the top of the watch is actually our antenna. It's separated by a bit of plastic from the main housing, but we're able to actually um, send a signal up from the circuit board to the ring on the top of the watch that uh, radiates the signal out. So I'm here, and then you could look at the watch and see, uh, see me as well. It's the possibility of putting something a little bit more classy on your wrist um, while still getting access to all your notifications, all your apps that you've, um, that you've come to love. Presumably classier means costlier as well? Yes, uh, Pebble, Pebble Steel starts at one, uh, 249 Okay, so $100 more than the current Pebble. Yeah. If we did our work well, if we designed our product well, it meshes into your everyday life and just becomes part of your routine without having to actually change your routine. So water resistance, long battery life, ease of charging. Well, how do you see a watch like the Galaxy Gear comparing to either the new steel or, or even the current Pebble? I think you'll see more and more competitors on the market this year, uh, last year, this year, but they're all kind of, it's interesting, they're all kind of avoiding the fact that this is a very personal device. A watch on your wrist uh, has to work well, it has to mesh well with the devices that you already use. Instead of trying to replace your phone, like that's definitely not kind of what we're going for. We're looking at ways that your watch can become extraordinarily useful during your everyday life. Our emphasis in 2014 will be very much centered around the Pebble App Store. So anywhere from sort of utility, weather, notifications, uh, traffic, um, sort of the business of everyday life uh, right on your wrist, to sports and fitness, to a Philips Hue app where you can actually control internet connected lights around your house right from your wrist. This is Pebble. It runs a lot of cool and useful apps. Did you have any thought that it would possibly go as high as it did to become the, the, the world's largest or most successful Kickstarter? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, when it did, I felt it felt amazing and mm -hmm. it felt like we had, we had really captured the imagination of 69,000 people around mm -hmm. the world. But we also knew we had, a, we had a lot of work to do, and we had to deliver on the promise and deliver on the design that we, had, that we had put out into the crowd. Any advice for budding entrepreneurs who are hoping to launch their own hardware products there? Uh, one of the best things I ever read was this blog post by Paul Bukaik, who's one of our investors and also the creator of Gmail. He, <laughs> he recommended when you're creating a new product to always have three three things that the product does very well. Don't worry about everything, the entire sort of like universe of things that your product can help with. Focus on three things that make your user's lives better or easier or more, more useful in some way. We talked about notifications, sports and fitness, and customizability. That was it. That was kind of like the entire pitch. On the launch of the original Pebble, uh, there was a lot of controversy and a lot of hurt feelings when Pebble was available in Best Buy before some of the early backers still hadn't received their devices. The way that manufacturing works is we actually had to order batches of each um, color kind of at the, same, uh, at the same time. So we had a lot of stock of blacks and we actually started shipping those to people who had pre-ordered on our website. Um, those were the first people to get blacks right after our Kickstarter um, after our Kickstarter backers. So we controlled the spread of it, um, but we also decided to enter into a retail agreement with Best Buy um, in around June or July 20, um, 2013. And I wouldn't say that, yeah, no, I think that the process was a little bit sooner than a lot of people had expected, but it was very important to us to spread, to spread Pebble out there. You can feel incoming calls when your hands are full or glance down at text messages when your phone is away. 
I kind of subscribe to the school of thought that if you keep working on what you love and what you want to build, you'll be successful. Thank you.